Good morning, students, teachers, and staff at Bataan. Could I please have your attention for our morning announcements? Just a reminder, as you're arriving to school, please make sure you are waiting outside of our building until 8.10. At 8.10, you may come inside to wait into in the hallway areas. If you eat breakfast, you may come in at 8 o'clock. Please, while you are waiting, make sure you're making above the line choices, keeping your hands to yourself, and making sure you are quietly uh, waiting in those hallway areas. Just a reminder, this week is school breakfast week. The theme is dig into breakfast. We will have special school breakfast activities going on today and tomorrow. Also, our yearbook sale will be continuing until March 13th. On March 13th, we will have a two hour delay. That is next Monday, a two hour delay staff enrichment. And please remember there is no breakfast on those two hour delay mornings. So you will need to eat breakfast at home that day. At this time, would you please stand, put your right hand over your heart, and together we will say the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may stay standing for our Baton Pledge. At Baton Memorial Elementary School, we work together to do great things for others. We have relentless pursuit of growth, to get better every day. We own it. We own our actions and choices. We want to be the best version of ourselves. You may have a seat. Today is Thursday, March 9th, 2023. And today for lunch, we will have macaroni and cheese and cornbread, broccoli, fruit, and milk. We have no birthdays to celebrate today. I wanted to take a moment as we are looking at our many events and our responses and how those determine our outcomes. We know that we can't always control the events that happen to us, but what we can control is our response and our response will lead to our outcome or what happens because of the way we respond to something. We know that if we make above the line responses, we will have an above the line outcome. So today I wanted us to take a moment to think about this event because I'm sure this is something that has happened to you before. The event is that someone said something that was not nice to me. How should I respond to that? I'm first going to press pause and think. Hmm, what are my choices? What could I say? I could tell them that was not very nice. I could walk away. I could ask them if they could talk with me about that. I could also talk to, the, to an adult about this problem. By responding in that way, that's going to help my outcome. I'm going to be able to solve my problems in a better way. If I were to respond negatively by saying something back that wasn't nice to them, the outcome is not going to be good and I'm not going to feel very good about myself. So by thinking about our response and trying to create an above the line response, we will have a better outcome. And in this situation, if someone's saying something that's not nice and we talk about our problem, by solving that, we can get to the bottom of it and hopefully have a better outcome. Let's remember this March, it's a great time to do great things for each other. And today I have a special announcement and that is for our students that are part of our intermediate building who have earned baton, um, a baton bonus ticket. And the winners for those tickets will have a special pizza lunch tomorrow. So congratulations to the following students, Kristen Taylor, Ben Schramm, Riley Meisler, Wyatt Franks, Lane Carmen, Adeline Wolf, Addison Hicks, Jake Hughley, Kendall Bollinger, William Rumpola, Donald McKeever, and Kiari Lanier. You are invited to a pizza party tomorrow on Friday for being chosen as a baton bonus ticket winner. Congratulations students and keep working on getting those baton bonus tickets if you are an intermediate student. Please remember here at our school it is important that we use self-control. Keep your hands, feet, and other objects to yourself. Think first then act. Remember you are in charge of your own actions and words. Please be respectful with those actions and words. Also on the playground please work hard to be above the line Line up quietly, take turns while playing. Remember, we are not doing rough play on the playground. It's important that you keep your hands and feet to yourself so everyone is safe on all areas. Use the equipment appropriately and follow directions that are being given by recess aides.
Also, in our cafeteria, let's do our best to use our manners. We use an inside voice level, listening to our adults, keeping our areas clean, using our manners. When you are finished with your lunch, you will quietly walk and put your items away and walk and sit back down at your seat. And also, as you are exiting the cafeteria, please make sure you are walking on the arrows quietly. Today is Thursday. There is no art club. I hope everyone enjoys their day. Please remember, work hard, make those above-the-line responses so you can have a great day. And go Skins!